Fieldhouse, day number two of the Big Ten Men's Basketball Tournament in Indianapolis, Northwestern and Michigan starting off four games on day number two. Can be like change defense is enough to keep this offense off balance. So far, good start. You got a great look, and Dems gets it to go. So while we'll skip into the corner, Dems open for three, and Trey Dems with his third three. He's got nine, and Northwestern creeping back in. Right on top of Dems as he caught that one. McIntosh on the wow. drive, gets to the rim, and Northwestern back within seven. That was good body control, good defense by Dockish. Took a little bump, still got it to go, and that's what you want to see from McIntosh. You, you see less issues, less hiccups, and then good offensive possessions that lead to open shots. McIntosh with a three, and Northwestern back within two, and a timeout taken by Michigan. Defense has certainly picked up. I mean, they're switching at times. You see great speed. He gets hyped, too. I, I love when he makes a good pass. He gets really excited about it. You'd like to see that. It's a stop. Michigan seems to be in control. Irvin, the deep jumper at the top, and that's a two for Zach Irvin. And that is how Michigan is going to end their first half as the three by McIntosh is too strong. And Michigan stretches the lead back to nine at halftime. Changes your team. It adds depth. And they've done it without them. A lot inside, back-to-back -back buckets for the big man. And Doyle, Lumpkin able in there to clean it up for Northwestern. Good work and good energy from Lumpkin. Now McIntosh providing a spark. No, but there's Ola. Six straight points for the Northwestern center, and the Cats back within six. Ola with the screen. The flip back out to Demps for three, and Demps cuts the lead in half. It's amazing what Bryant McIntosh can do when he gets the ball into the paint. His vision is so good. Blue collar. Delving into the mind of John Crispin is something I probably will not do much of. Ola inside with the turnaround, gets the hook to fall. Three-point game again. That was another quick demonstrative move. It, it didn't... Demps got inside the painted area and finished off with the little floater. Get the Hoosiers. The way they're playing. McIntosh pulling the line. Hits the three. And Northwestern storming back again, down just four. Get your guards into the paint. Open three. It's good. Huge jumper for Tatler. It's amazing when the ball changes sides of the floor. Jumps. Back to Alex Ola. Spinning down low. Ola to the rim. It's tied at 52. The same play has been run over and over again to bring Alex Ola high. Brian McIntosh refuses the ball screen, throws back. It's the defense scrambling. Oh, I see what you did there. Yeah. McIntosh with the three. It's good. And Northwestern leads for the first time since it was three to nothing. Abdul Rahman looking baseline. Finds the fill in Mark Donnell. And he with 20 seconds to go. Alex Ola steps out for three. And he hits. The big man rains down a three. Can't get the second two-point game. No timeouts for Northwestern. McIntosh, the handoff to Demps. Demps with five seconds. On the attack, the fadeaway for the tie. Won't go. Ola with the play. It's good. It is good. We are tied at 60 with one-tenth of a second to play. <laughs> you have to love the Big Ten tournament. These are two teams that have played and thrived in some close games. Trey Debs got a great look on the step back. And Chris Collins just reminded Gene Steratore, hey, look, that was a travel, by the way. Zola with the little pick. McIntosh to the rim, and the finger roll cuts the lead in half to keep that game going. He'll dribble it out to Demps, who will try the three. And Trey Demps, his second chance, he rolls home the three. It's a one-point game. That was some of the best execution we've seen all game. The activity on the offensive end, playing through Alex Ola, whether he's ball screen. 140 to go in overtime. McIntosh on the push. Taphorn back out to Demps. Demps on the drive. The floater gives Northwestern the lead. I'll tell you what, when Trey Demps gets some confidence, he just plays downhill and goes. As if it's just like they should easily be in the tournament. Then there's other times where the toughness and the consistency isn't there. Robinson, the three. And again, they gotta be kidding me. Duncan Robinson. Oh my gosh. Nine seconds to go. Walton, the give. Urban, the two. Leads. Three seconds to play in overtime. <laughs> Zach Urban.
The key here is catching the ball moving towards the other side of the court. Taplin's got an inbound. Long toss deflected away. Walton swipes it, and Michigan survives. Now, Gene Steratore has come running in and has said, everybody go back to your respective corners. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He He's out of bounds. You, you've got to be kidding me oh with this stuff, man. Oh, my goodness. It can be a catch and shoot, but it's got to be quick. Here we go. McIntosh in. Tap one to three. Not going to go. And now Michigan really does survive. 72 to 70 in overtime. Oh, wow.